If you've begun the search for a garage door repair company, you need to know how to avoid a scammer who will perform unnecessary repairs and grossly overcharge you. This video gives you some warning signs to look for when you review ads or internet listings. A company that can afford to advertise heavily is usually a reputable and established company. But scammers use that fact to look reputable and to constantly find new victims, especially in larger population areas. So scammers often spend a lot of money to rank highly in internet searches, offer special deals in coupon books, and get the largest ads in the yellow pages. Honest garage door companies can advertise heavily too, so you need to take a closer look at these ads. That brings us to warning sign number one. Study carefully the name of the advertised company. Bad companies don't want to be found after they've ripped off a customer. That's why some unethical companies operate under many names, or they use names that are generic, inconsistent, or unclear. So make sure that the name on their internet listing or their ad matches the name on their website. Then, look closely for a specific street address. Scammers will rarely have an identified location where customers can come to them. If their ad does include an address, check it quickly on a Street View map to see if their business is actually at that location. Scammers are known to hide behind phony addresses or claim to be in an office complex or a corporate plaza, which is rare in this industry. Next, be wary of advertising that promises a low-priced service call. Many ripoffs start with the promise of a low fee, like $29 or $39, yet end up with a total bill exceeding $1,000, packed with exorbitant parts prices and unnecessary repairs. If you call a company that promises a low fee and they end up recommending hundreds of dollars of repairs that seem questionable, pay them their $29 and send them on their way. In addition to these three warning signs, it's also wise to look for indications of a reputable company. That includes members of the International Door Association and particularly door dealers that are accredited by the Institute of Door Dealer Education and Accreditation. Also, look for companies with excellent ratings from the Better Business Bureau, Angie's List, and other well-known ratings agencies. But be careful with these companies too. Scammers have been known to make false claims and to use logos illegally. Some also claim to have certified technicians but have no legitimately credentialed employees on staff. Knowing these simple signs will help to steer you to a reputable door company that can solve your problem quickly, safely, and at a reasonable price. Getting an additional estimate is one of the best ways to avoid getting scammed. Specifically, Get an estimate from a member of the International Door Association. Just go to www.doors.org and use its Find a Dealer function to find a dealer in your area. You can also use the dealer search function found at any of the industry's manufacturer websites. Just go to the DASMA member page and click on any of the links to member websites. For more information, check out our other videos found at the dooreducation.com website. This video is a production of DASMA and IDA, North America's two trade associations devoted to the integrity of the garage door industry.